Everybody. This video I'm gonna go over uh, how this tank's been going. There's been some new growth and a few things I gotta change. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so first off we've got some new growth in uh, the plants I put in the last video. Specifically the dwarf hair grass and the glossotigmia. I've had experience with hair grass before so I knew what to expect. Usually when you plant hair grass it takes three months or not three months three weeks or more to really start growing um, and then after that like it take up to a year to finally cover in all the space that you wanted to and it's been about three weeks so it started growing it started to spread out spend out runners so that's good uh, the glossotigmia started off a lot faster than the hair grass but it's been growing kind of weird basically it started growing about a week and a half before the hair grass did so that was nice, but then it started growing up instead of sideways, and then it started going sideways and up. It's just going crazy now, but um, it's it's not growing too wacky that I have to cut it down yet. Uh, so I'm just going to let it keep growing until it fills in some space, and then I'll start hacking it down. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's completely grown in and um, the root structure isn't uh, compromised or anything. Uh, it's still getting enough of the uh, sunlight, not sunlight, but uh, light in general and uh, nutrients that it needs. So yeah, that's the Glosso and the hair grass. Uh, I guess go over the rest of the tank. Alright, so the other plants that I put in this tank uh, along with the hair grass and Glosso that I didn't really cover uh, as much were the uh, plants uh, you can see, or I guess you can't see, but Rikia Fluitans, which has uh, one or two little pockets floating around the surface and uh, a little uh, piece of it got stuck in the hair grass so it's been growing down there but um, those two or that plant has uh, been growing pretty fast um, it hasn't really gone insane or stuck to any walls or something but like that like I was kind of hoping it would but uh, it's provided a nice little base for some of the guppy fry to hide in and for uh, shrimp to get a little I don't know, rest stop or something up there. Um, you see the occasional shrimp uh, on these little floating pads like that one right there. Um, this is interesting to watch, but um, the other plant I put in here was the, well, supposed, supposedly, uh, what are they, you know, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sublata, I think. Uh, I'll put the name in the description. I'm not sure if I'm saying that quite right. Uh, I haven't had the plants in a while, so it's growing a lot taller than it usually does, which leads me to think it's something like uh, Sagittarius chinensis or um, one of the Valsinarinias, because it's growing surprisingly long for a plant that's supposed to be a foreground. Um, so I put it in uh, back there with the hydrocotyl and the cryptocrine. Uh, and it's it turned out really well aquascaping wise. Uh, provided some more cover for the guppy fry and for the shrimp, and uh, it's all kind of grown together. Uh, so that's very nice looking. Uh, and that's pretty much it, except for one last thing, tiny, tiny last thing. Right there is one stem soon to be multiple stems of, and I forgot the store organ weapons, there we go. Um, I've been wanting this plant for a while and I finally got it in its immersed form. Uh, so I'm growing it in the immersed form um, in the fish room and I took one of the stems and I stuck it in here. Um, it's been in here for a day or so 
or at least planted for a day. It's been floating around for like a week. Um, so hopefully it completely converts and then starts spreading. Uh, obviously you're not expecting too much of it since it's one stem uh, all, the, all in there alone. Uh, so it's going to give it some more time to grow. Uh, yeah, fish wise, uh, everything's pretty well. Let me just move the camera one more time. Uh, fish and shrimp wise, at least. I've gotten some really cool uh, breeds out of the uh, females and males in here. I can just get this guy to stop moving. That's one of them, one of the good ones. Uh, it's a really nice male guppy. Um, he, I intend to move into the 33 and uh, breed some more. Him and his brothers, which conveniently all gathered right here, and I started talking about them. But um, they've all got some really, really nice reds, uh, dark reds and black combinations. Um, I'll get, I'll try and get some photos of them uh, a little later. Tetras, um, I'm 100% sure they spawned before uh, in this tank, but obviously it's a community, so everything eats their eggs before they can even get close to hatching, um, especially the shrimp and the Dario Dario, which unfortunately are not out and about for this video. Um, they're probably tuck it, tucked away back there in the cryptogrind or something. Uh, but yeah, the shrimp have been growing exponentially. Um, the population shrunk for a while, now it's booming again um, with all different kinds of varieties actually. Uh, crossbred rillies, um, wild, wild woods, uh, clear ones, and they've turned out some crazy, crazy uh, young that um, ended up growing into some really interesting colors. Uh, some of them got this weird like uh, magenta color. I think I found one right here. See if I can focus in on him. Yeah, right there. So he's got some interesting patterns and colors on him. Um, can't find any of his uh, siblings, but they've got some really, really crazy uh, colors. Um, none that I've seen in the cherry shrimp world, at least. Uh, so yeah, drawing in the roots. What up, baby? I know you may be looking for a sponsor, but you know some damn guy. I got calf here. And I got turkey and cheese at the house. Let me holla at you, though. Listen. I'm real to me, flipping pies, feeling E, a dealer, doing deals on my body. I can seal the key. We ain't gotta physically touch to know you feeling me. Tell you now, it'll be rough. You try to peel on me. You look hungry, have a meal, some veal on me. Hold still on these girls, kneel for me. Out in Philly and salons and the Mallory stay talking about me when my shorty be telling me. But she on a cam ash fast, she get it from my mom.